So an ancient primordial fear was reawakened in me when I read this headline for the first time. Missing mother found dead inside 16 foot long python after it swallowed her whole in Indonesia. I've been to Indonesia as a kid. Beautiful place. I always thought I'll revisit and I probably still will. It's just there, there's something about like I have no fear of snakes. It's just the idea of just being eaten by a giant snake. It really gets to me. But my God, like everything about the story is just tragic. And I, I, I feel sorry for the family that they had to go through the whole process. Basically, based on what the story said, the husband of the woman, well, he, he found her missing, uh, thought she was just at the supermarket, but she didn't come back. So they started getting a search party and they noticed a python a few feet away with a bloated stomach. And well, just looking at the picture of said stomach, it's a... Uh, Pretty apparent, it's not too big to be cattle, but not small enough to be something else. It, it definitely looks human shaped. So, well, uh, they cut it open and they found the woman's body being digested within the slime. Not a pretty sight for anyone to see their family member like that. It's a very big tragedy all around. And uh, let's not panic and think that all big snakes are like this. It's only this one python species, the reticulated rit rit python. Hope I said that right. Uh, but yeah, not many cases. I've only found like four of them uh, from two 2017 onward. Um, and it's all in Indonesia. So you got this one, 2022, woman's body found inside Python. Another one, 2018, woman checking up the vegetable garden and one of a man being swallowed whole, 2017. Now, for me, I always thought this was a myth that giant snakes eat people based on like uh, just fictional stories and just horror movie tropes, whatnot. No, no, there are rare cases, but I always thought it would be the anacondas because of the anaconda movies. Uh, no, it's only the pythons. There has been no cases of anacondas, apparently documented at least, uh, none of them where they eat human beings. They attack, sure, they'll threaten and attack, but they don't, um, uh, they don't have us on the menu. Then there's the fact I, I kept looking. Uh, apparently, there was an extinct species called the Titan Boa. That that one definitely probably would have swallowed us if it was still alive. These are straight up dragons, man. They're, they're just straight up dragons. Uh, that reminds me, Komodo dragons. They also are, I believe, in Indonesia, right? I think so. Yeah, Indonesia. God dang. It, it really is... Um, like, I love dragons in particular, but I wouldn't get so close to them. Komodo dragons are known to, like, target humans and, well, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty scary. Indonesia is close to Australia, so there's that as well. God, it's just, uh, and of course, like, they have footage, so that's even more disturbing of just seeing it in motion. This is a serious case in Indonesia. I feel like something should be done here. I know it's rare, but this is a very, very dangerous situation, man. Like, get something going. Regardless, uh, TMZ also has a more graphic footage i'm not gonna show it because youtube but like they cut open the python and they find the body inside but yeah i've always had the fear uh like the movie came out in 1997 but i've watched it like when i was a teen so like a decade or a few decades whatever afterwards and yeah th that was what got imprinted in my head based on some of that footage it's it's definitely scary Yeah, and I forget, the movie has Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cube. Uh, pretty weird times back then, but hey, it is what it is. Go. 
yeah, and, and and that's the thing that these big snakes they are they are not that hyperactive. They they're slow when it comes to attacking. They don't wrap super fast. They first bite, constrict slowly. It's it's a whole process. May really traumatize you if you watch this as a kid, where the snake is super fast and um, this isn't even an anaconda. It's pretty much a titan boa, but the movie I guess the anaconda has a catchier name. Regardless, this is the one that scars me. It's what scars me is the way they show the bone cracking and whatnot of the villain. Yeah, that that's just oh my god. Uh, it's a horrible way to go. Definitely horrible way to go. I I I genuinely would not no no I, I just can't I remember watching this as a teen and it it was an experience that I carried to this day like small snakes I sure I think they're cute ball pythons cute and I'm pretty sure the python that eats people thinks I'm cute too cute enough to eat because god damn and the thing is if if you have a wide shoulder yeah uh, that that's an advantage for you because it, if you have a wide shoulder, it's pretty difficult for the snake to eat you. They, once they get past your shoulders, the rest is easy. Let's, oh yeah, I forgot about this part. Oh my god, I forgot about this. Oh god, that's just... I, I don't... That is gnarly. Alright, but yeah, this, this is what definitely um, caused my fear of giant snakes. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it caused many people's fear of giant snakes like this. But yeah, this, this part. Like, um, they're, they're not this fast and agile. They definitely don't want to do any of this, you know, high profile moving whatnot. Also, they just ate. They just ate an entire meal right here, right? These snakes, they... They become lazy, lethargic. They got their meal for like a month or so, maybe months. Uh, they're not gonna go for the next target immediately after. Yeah, I, I know this from uh, having friends who have pet snakes. Whenever they feed them rats or something, they're they're done. <laughs> they're clocked out. They they got their meal for a long while. So yeah, all in all, I would say. God dang, like I, I really thought this was a myth, man. I, I never thought I would wake up and see a news headline that would just, you know, shake my monkey brain and remind me that, oh, that's right. Reptiles, predators, we aren't uh, on top of the food chain as much as we like to think. There are definitely animals out there that could really put us in our place if we are um, unaware of our surroundings. Oh my god, like I really hope there's some sort of uh, precautions Indonesia is working on to deal with this because it's all in Indonesia, nowhere else, uh, like anacondas are mostly in South America and just no cases of anacondas eating, Komodo dragons, pythons, yeah, um, it, it, it's not easy, it definitely does not seem easy, they're not as frequent but like it, it, it can occur and the fact of the matter is when it does occur it's horrifying like mentally scarring people like that you, you generally don't want to deal with any of that like I remember watching a video of two Komodo dragons going at it and yeah that was just uh, insane straight up real life Pokemon battles and these guys are just watching it like it's the UFC I don't want to be caught in the middle of that god like is Indonesia just Jurassic Park now like I as a kid I thought I didn't I never even thought of like these kind of animals being there I, I was just enjoying my time like I lived there for a whole year straight uh, when I was like 10 I, I loved it I loved <laughs> I still want to go though, like, still. <laughs> yeah, it, this is really making me uh, rethink all my love for T-Rexes and dragons. Like, if they existed, uh, we can't even handle the chibi versions of them. I can't imagine dealing with actual T-Rexes and dragons just roaming about in human civilizations. That, oh boy, still 
uh, amazing animals, but I like to respect them from a distance. Like, uh, I live near Florida, and even the alligators and crocodiles, well, to be honest, they're, they're kind of pushovers. If you lived in the area uh, for a long time, they're not as... Uh, they're still a threat, mind you. They're still a threat. I'm not going to go wrestling with them, but like compared to what I read about Komodo dragons and pythons now, uh, they seem like puppies. Like genuinely just nice puppies compared to this. I, like I, I, I wouldn't even be here. I wouldn't even be here in the distance. Uh, I just... These guys are something else to just be watching this. Like... I don't even know how to end this. Um, yeah, big snake make me make me fear uh, a lot. Me me scared big time. That's that's how I'll end it. That that's all there is. Stay safe out there and um, oh boy, just uh, hopefully this never ever happens again and uh, Indonesia gets in a more safer situation or i don't even know what i'm saying I, i'm just trying to process the komodo dragons fighting in front of me but yeah uh that's all there is